trail bikes are some of the most versatile types of mountain bikes and no matter what the trail is I have a blast riding my trail bike but every time I jump on my cross-country bike I'm reminded of how fast this bike is. I've done comparisons with trail and cross-country bikes quite a bit and I want to do another one because I've never done one on my new Giant Trance Advance. It's a 2018 and I'm going to do some time lapse so I'm going to get out on my cross-country bike today my Niner RKT9 RDO and I'm going to do two laps. The first one I'm going to go all out uh, race pace as fast as I can go and then I'm going to do another section and I'm going to do that at what I'm just going to call a fast trail riding pace. So what would be typical of a group ride, a uh, fast group ride, uh, I'm, it's not going to be race pace but it's not going to be real leisurely. I'm just going to kind of keep a good steady pace. I want to answer the question of how much slower am I on my trail bike versus my cross country bike. I'm going to repeat this tomorrow. One thing that's interesting right now is a lot of leaves are on the trail. So uh, the trail bike has some beefy tires. It's got some 2.6 Schwalbe knobby nicks. And so those knobs really bite in through the leaves and give give good grip. I'm using the Vittoria Mezcals on my cross country bike. Not as beefy, of course, as my trail bike, but the tires are not bad. They're gripping pretty good in the leaves, actually a little bit more than I thought they would, but they're not gonna have as much grip. So, you know, that's another thing that I'll analyze here is when there's a lot of leaves on the trail or when the conditions are a little bit more slippery, could a trail bike have, you know, at least a little bit more of an advantage than just pure dry conditions. So, all right, rolling up to the start of the cross country race lap. So this one's gonna be all out. And just to note, this is a cross country trail. So, I mean, this is where cross country bikes would shine. But again, curious to see how the trail bike compares on these kind of trails. So, all right, I'll pick up the video just in the middle of the run just to get a little bit of riding footage. All right, so the race pace lap, uh, definitely not conditions favorable for a PR, nowhere near my PR. I had a 14.19 on that one, and I found the limits to the Mezcal tires. My front end washed out on some leaves about halfway through the lap, and I went careening off the course, and thank God there was not a tree right there. I don't know how I kept it upright, but I did. So uh, yeah, these tires are good, but not as grippy in the leaves as the beefier knobby mix that I'll be on tomorrow. Yeah, this one is going to be, like I said, just a kind of a fast, steady uh, trail pace is what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to try to maintain a steady effort and try to remember what that effort felt like for tomorrow. That pace was much more enjoyable. That's probably the pace I would keep on a three or four hour Saturday morning ride when I wanted to ride fairly hard, but keep it steady, not blow up. But there were a ton of leaves on that trail. And the problem with the leaves is you can't see the roots underneath. So if there's a diagonal root, you gotta be real careful that you don't hit it and you know have your tire uh, wash out quickly. The time on that section on the cross country bike was 1412. Just because a bike is labeled cross country doesn't mean it can't be fun. The analogy that I like to use is it wouldn't be as much fun driving a Jeep 
on smooth mountain roads. You'd rather be in a sports car. For the same reason, some trails, it's more fun to ride a cross country bike because of just how snappy and agile they are. Now, when you get to the mountains on rough descents, it's a different story, trail bike any day. So I'll get back out here tomorrow on the trail bike, do the exact same loops and let you know how the times are. All right, so I'm out for the second day of testing now on the 2018 Giant Trance Advance 1, which is a full on trail bike. I actually meant to do this the day after the cross country bike, but because of scheduling, it's two days after, which actually is probably a little bit better because my legs are going to be a little bit fresher. So I think the results are gonna be a tad more accurate. So I'm not gonna show any riding footage between now and the time that I talk again. So I'll show some footage while I'm giving my summary just to keep this video a little bit shorter. So in the cross country loop where I went all out, uh, yes, or two days ago on the cross country bike, I had a 1419. Uh, today I had a 1446 on the trail bike. So 27 seconds slower on the trail bike. And then on the second loop where I just kind of kept the pace that I would do for an endurance pace, like I said, three or four hour Saturday ride where I was pushing it pretty good, but not wanting to blow up. On that loop, I had a 1439 today, uh, which was also 27 seconds slower than the cross country bike two days ago in the same loop. So very consistent in the differences, whether I'm pushing hard or whether I'm going at more of an endurance pace. So the things that I felt like slowed me down a little bit on the trail bike is one, the bike's just a little bit heavier so you can feel it on the climbs. Uh, the trance is about 27 and a half pounds. The cross country bike's a little over 23 pounds. So about a four and a quarter pound difference between the two bikes. Also at kind of cross country speeds, the front end of the trail bike, just kind of wanders around a little bit. You feel like you have to take a bigger arc in the corners, whereas the cross country bike, the steeper geometry just allows you to kind of cut into the corner. So I felt like that slowed me down a little bit. Also with the bars being wider on the trail bike, so those are 780 wide, which is pretty wide for a trail bike uh, on cross country trails. The trees are kind of closer to the trails here. So I had to be a little bit more cautious going around corners with the trail bike. So cornering's quicker on the cross country bike, also acceleration and climbing. So, you know, not earth shattering news, but I just wanted to see what a pretty high end trail bike, you know, that's a $5,000 trail bike. It's that's for 150 millimeters of travel. That's a pretty light bike, 27 and a half pounds. And so I was curious, probably about what I expected. So, you know, that's a 14, 15 minute loop. So I figure on a cross country course, uh, every hour you're probably a minute and a half to two minutes slower on a trail bike now obviously if you're on a bigger heavier trail bike you're going to have uh, more of a gap between the two bikes and i do want to mention that i did feel more grip on those knobby neck tires so what i might do is i mean there are just there's so many leaves on the trail here so many that like there's sections where it's hard to see the trail but what I might do is put a beefier tire on my cross country bike during the fall season, uh, just on the front. And that way I have a little bit more grip in the leaves. Because like I said, two days ago, uh, I, I almost lost it on the cross country bike. The bike went completely sideways. Somehow I managed to keep it up, but that probably wouldn't have happened if I had a beefier tire on the front. Something that I do want to mention is if I had to pick a bike for these trails, I would pick the cross country bike just because it's more fun. It's a little bit more fun. I mean, obviously I have fun on the trail bike. Uh, whereas if I were going to the mountains to ride uh, any day, I would pick the trail bike unless I were racing a cross country race in the mountains. Uh, so, you know, it just confirms to me that a trail bike is more fun in the mountains. A cross country bike is more fun on cross country trails just because of how agile and light it feels and how you can just throw it around and accelerate. So there's another one of my bike geek analysis videos looking at cross country and trail bike. I love this stuff. Hopefully you do too. So hope some of this information was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.